Hey everyone, welcome to new updates of Odoo 18. In today's video, we will discuss about sharing accounts between companies in Odoo as a feature that can be beneficial in certain scenarios, particularly when dealing with parent company with several subsidiaries that can share the accounts and simplify the process of consolidating financial statements. So you can create a single charts of accounts for a parent company and share it with the subsidiaries and this easily eliminates the need for manual adjustments and ensure the consistency in reporting. So if you have a joint ventures, sharing accounts can help in streamline the financial reporting process between the participating companies. So let's dive into the accounting module to check how we can share the accounts between the companies. So for that, first, we have to ensure that we have a multi-company database over here. So currently, let me enable that. So I'm going to confirm the multi-company for my database. So currently, you can see that we are just going to deal with the companies, my company San Francisco, as well as my Belgian company. Now, let me just dive into the configuration menu and choose the charts of accounts. Under that, we can just create a new charts of account. For that, you can just click on new button where you can set the code. So I'm going to give the code over here and you can just choose the account name. So I'm going to choose the account name as income account and you can also set the type of the account. So you can choose the type of the account as income and here you can save this once everything is done and now we just need to view this account. So you can just click on view button and under the mapping, you would be able to find uh, the companies that are going to map for this charts of accounts and it is mandatory to choose the same code for the companies. So let me choose the same code for my bill chain. Afterwards, let me move on to the accounting tab and here we just need to set the company that is my bill chain company. Later on, you can save this. As we haven't used this chart of accounts for any further transactions, you can see that the balance is currently set to zero. So here you would be able to find that we have successfully mapped the account for these companies. Now, as you just move on to the charts of accounts and search for the charts of account that you have recently created, you would be able to find that this account is shared between my Belgian company as well as my company san francisco now we just want to deal with the transactions for each company so let me just disable the uh, multi-company frame here and uh, let's move on for further transactions so here you can see that even if this account is shared between multiple companies the reports will be treated separately over here the transactions won't be mixed up there so you can just move on to the customer invoices and let's create a new customer invoice in order to check that. So currently we are in my Belgian company and I'm going to create a new um, customer invoice over here where I'm going to choose my customer as Azure Interior. So under the invoice lines, you can just choose a product. I'm going to choose a product as a white boat pen and I'm going to set cost as 120 over here with one quantity. So while you are just managing with this, you just need to ensure that you have to used the proper account. So here you can find the account, which is the income account. Later on, if you just don't need to apply any taxes, you can just disable or just remove the taxes from there. And let me save this and let me confirm this invoice. So if you want to make the payment, you can just click on pay and this will let you to register the payment. So once you click on register, I mean create payment, this allows you to make the payment and currently you can see it's in payment state and after ring installation, the payment will be moving to the bank. Now, as you just move on to the charts of accounts and you can just search for the account over here. So let me search for the account that we have recently created and if you want to see the balance at all, you can find that currently the balance is 120, that is minus 120. Now, let me move on to the reporting and under the reporting, either you can just go to the balance sheet or you can just move on to the general ledger. Let me type into this general ledger and here you can just filter it based on uh, customer invoices and um, you would be able to find the accounts that are used. So here you can see that the account that we have recently used with the amount in credit side and all as well as the balance is shown over here. Now, let me switch into my 
uh, account which is my company san francisco okay now i'm going to uh, just deal with the account so currently you can see that under this general ledger that account is not visible because we haven't used that account for any transactions under my company san francisco so let me just dive into the customer invoices over here and let me create a new transaction with the customer uh Mich not michelle let me uh let me choose the customer over here that is Jimny Furniture and uh, let me choose the product which is a uh, customizable test and here we just need to set the account so I'm going to choose the account which is the income account that we have recently created later on you can just continue with the process and click on confirm and if you want to just make the payment you can just click on pay and this let you to make the payment and you can just go with further process by clicking on create payment now let me move on to the reporting and under the general ledger you can just move on to the yeah uh invoices i mean you can just filter based on customer invoices and yeah we have 10 with that and here you would be able to find the account that is used and the amount is shown over here so even if you share this account between the companies the transactions will be shown separately over here now um if you want to just find the balance of this you can easily find that from the charts of accounts so let me just move on to the configuration and choose the charts of accounts and let's search for the account which is uh, the income account and still you can see this is sharing between the companies my venture company and my company san francisco and let's view this account and as i just click on view account you can see that currently it has a balance of seven minus 750 and that is from the transaction of my company san francisco so that's all about sharing the accounts between the companies and that's all for today thank you for watching the video